Aaron Aiken, and I'm the youth pastor at Wiley United Methodist Church. And today I'm starting a series of blog posts on what um, you can do with a design program um, that's called Canva and how you can get it for uh, free through their Canva for Nonprofit program. And so we're going to walk through today on how to get Canva for Nonprofits, which is their high tier version of Canva for Work. Um, and so Canva for Work is the premier version of uh, the free version of Canva. And um, since churches are nonprofits, you can actually get it for free as long as you're an eligible 501c3 status. So we're gonna dive into it and we're gonna get started. So first off, um, to get to this page, I just went and I typed in Canva for nonprofits. Um, it should be the first link that pops up in your uh, Google or Bing search, whatever you use. Um, and it'll pull up this page and all you have to do is you click on this page, apply now it's free, but we'll do that in a second. Um, and so basically Canva is just a super, super powerful designer, builder, um, scheduler, um, and it's great for church content. Um, it has tons of templates, it has tons of images, tons of icons and different things that you can use um, to make some really, really awesome eye-catching designs really, really easy. And so we're gonna spend the next couple weeks going through um, a few things, including how to design specific elements like social media posts or um, videos for your church or um, a few other different things. And so definitely as we go through these, if you have any comments or questions um, that you'd like to see addressed, please uh, feel free to write them in the comments below. Or you can um, check me out on Facebook and send me a private message at facebook.com slash hey Brent Aiken um, and I will get back to you as fast as I can on trying to include those in my next couple videos but ultimately what I want to do with this group of videos is um, that I want to enable you guys to do the best you can um, with this free, de uh, free design software because it will change how you do design if you allow it to and it's really really easy to use. So we're going to go to apply now and it'll bring up this page. Um, it'll go through all the details. Um, you can have free Canva for uh, or Canva Pro, which is um, access to everything that they have. Um, and it's for you and a team of up to 10. So once you get Canva for uh nonprofits or Canva Pro, then you can enter email addresses to your team members and you can send them invites to your organizational Canva. Um, but you can do all different kinds of stuff that we'll talk to. You have access to premium music, videos, images, graphics. You can download with transparent backgrounds. You have a brand kit. Um, you can upload fonts and logos. Um, you can publish designs as templates for your entire team, all kinds of stuff. And all you have to do is go to this page and fill out this form. It's really, really easy. They will ask you to upload your um, tax documentation or your proof of not-for-profit not status. Um, and that would just be your 501c3 that you can get from your church secretary or finance person. Um, and so it's as easy as that. You send, do that form and then they will email you and basically kind of walk you through the whole process. But after you do that, you can go to canva.com, which is their main site. And once you get an access to it, you will have the ability to um, start designing and start learning how to do different things. And so this is the homepage for Canva. There's a few things I wanted to point out on here. The first thing is, um, like I said, you can literally design just about anything on here. Um, social media, you can design stuff for events, like invitations, posters, brochures, announcements. Um, same thing with uh, marketing, you can do flyers, you can do logos, you can do coupons, gift certificates, business cards, all kinds of stuff. Um, and then even PowerPoint presentations and stuff like that, all of that is available on here. Um, and it's a free program to use when you sign up for um, Canva for nonprofits. So it's a no brainer to, to start using it. If you see over here, you can also do custom dimensions. 
And that's a super huge thing for a lot of people because sometimes you have that weird design that won't fit. So you have to come in and make your own design um, dimensions. And so you can do that as well. But other than that, you have on the left hand toolbar, you have your brand kit, which is one of the things we talked about. And here's where you can upload all of your logos that you use. You can choose your brand colors and these will start as your automatic selected colors for when you or a teammate of yours on your team um, starts designs. These will be recommended above every single uh, color choice. You can also set your um, font and set the sizes that will automatically default for you and your team. And then if you have any fonts that you use that you don't normally, uh, that you wouldn't be able to find on Canva, you can upload fonts on here and they'll keep them in the Canva database for your team. The other thing that I wanted to show you on this screen is the um, content planner. This is brand new. Um, they are just now working on this. And basically what you can do is you can come in and you can make designs for your um, Canva uh, or for your Facebook or uh, whatever social media, social media you use. Right now I think they have access to Facebook, Tumblr, um, Twitter and LinkedIn maybe. And so you can automatically schedule content and Canva will post for you to these platforms um, where all you, you don't even have to leave Canva, which is really, really cool. So right now I do a week at a time for my church's Facebook and I post an entire week's worth of content. Um, and every Thursday I'm gonna come back in and I'm going to start um, doing a week's worth of content at a time. So it automatically posts on the church Facebook and I don't have to do anything about it. Um, which is super awesome. It saves you time and saves you effort of having to remember to get on and post things when you can just sit down and post everything you want and it will work out super, super great. So we're gonna go back to the recommended for you page and we're just gonna do create a design and we're gonna go to social media. We'll just do an Instagram post for today. And so this is just, like I said, to show you what um, is available on the designer and then we'll actually go into some tips and tricks on how to design in the next couple videos. Um, and so this is the designer page. Right off the bat on your side you'll see templates and these are super super useful. These I use all the time. I use these um, to spark creativity and then I'll just kind of go in and change different objects and elements um, for things that I want to change because I don't want to steal exact what these are but a lot of these have cool font designs or stuff like that and then I might come in and take bits and pieces and change a few things to make them my own um, and so like we can come in and we can pick a template to start and so you have this template and this one in particular is a video um, but you can start with a template um, and then on the left you have the rest of these and I'll go through all these real quick. First off, uploads is pretty straightforward. Um, this is images or videos that you want to upload from your computer or from your Facebook or from somewhere online to Canva that you can use in different spots. After you do that, um, uploading images is really, really simple. It's just a matter of uh, point and click and it'll come in, you can drag it, whatever you wanna do, and it'll pop up and be there for you to use and it's fully editable. Um, just aim for high resolution when you do stuff like that. Um, the next thing is photos. It has in-house its own photo gallery where you can search for anything. So you can search for like community and you'll find all kinds of stuff that's really, really cool. And I'm actually gonna take this picture just for the sake of this little demo. And I'm going to do this and have that as the new background for behind this thing. The next thing that would be is your elements. Now elements is a bunch of different things. It can be shapes, it can be colored images, like uh, almost like drawings or cartoons. Um, it can have lines, it has also specific frames. So like if I didn't want to be, um, if I wanted to pick a specific frame, um, there's all kinds of stuff in here that I can use. Um, and so say I wanted to do the, a specific frame, I could come in, drag the frame to how I want it, 
And then if I take this picture out and just do that, I can come back in to uploads or to photos, grab that same picture again, and it'll automatically drop into that frame. And that frame will keep the picture resolution where it needs to be, which is super cool. It's a really, really neat feature. Um, and I use it a ton. And so um, you just kind of go back into it and keep going. Um, and so text is pretty simplistic. You just add it. This is your basic text add, but they have a bunch of cool um, pre-made texts that you can come in and add. And so say spring is here is cool, but I don't really want that. Um, say we're gonna throw this one in. It comes in just like this. You just double click on the text you wanna change and you can add whatever you want. I'm just literally coming up with this on the fly um, because yeah. Um, and so it's, it's really, really simplistic. It's really, really easy um, to make a eye catching design that pops that is um, easy to use. That'll be good on social media or anything else um, in a matter of a couple clicks. Um, moving on, if you go into the video side of Canva, sometimes you might want to do music. Um, this is all different music tracks that you can add in that are royalty free. Um, so you can kind of just flip through here and listen to different um, clips and cuts. Some of them are full length songs that are instrumental. Some are like 10, 20, 30 second clips. Um, but there's tons of different music in here that could go in towards different video things that you might make in Canva. Um, then, of course, after that, they also have a royalty-free gallery of video. So you can come in and you can add video and there will be different things like, um, just to show y'all one, come in and throw this one in here. And I mean, it's just royalty-free videos that you can add. And then, so if you wanted to do that and then you wanted to come back and put music in over it, you could easily do that. Um, and the music will play over the page. And so um, it's really, really simple, really easy. Um, once again, it's super, uh, a, a really robust program that allows you to do a ton of stuff. Um, lastly, we have two more. Um, one's backgrounds, really, really straightforward. Um, these are just pre-made backgrounds for like Instagram or any posts that you might be doing. So you can click in the background and it'll pop up as your background. Um, so there's tons of different items in here that you can use. A lot of these are great for quick social media posts or anything like that. Or if you're doing a presentation, some of these are really, really good. But I mean, the sky's the limit on what you can do with these. And then folders is the last thing I wanted to do. You can actually come in and use any design you've ever made that you've saved in Canva through your folders icon. So say if I made a Facebook post like I did earlier um, for my church's um, Facebook, if I made a Facebook post and I wanted to change that and then make it an Instagram post too, I could make another document that's an Instagram post and I can come pull the Facebook post here. And then all I have to do is everything in here is editable. I just have to shrink a few things to make it fit the Instagram uh, size. And then after that, I mean, it's super, super simple. Um, and that's all you have to do. Um, the other thing that's cool in folders is this is where you access your logos. So like I showed you on your brand content or your brand plan manager, you can come in and you have your logos preloaded, ready to go. And all you do is click and you can drop in whatever you'd like to drop in. Um, and it makes it to where you can brand your social media posts, you can brand presentations, whatever you wanna do. Um, and it, it's, like I said, it's super easy. 
Um, the resources on here are practically limitless, and we'll spend a little bit more time going through each and every one of these as we go into how to design social media posts and how to post them on Facebook, um, how to design a presentation that you can use in the background for like sermon slides or whatever. And so if you have anything specific that you'd like me to address, please remember to message me um, on Facebook, um, facebook facebook.com slash Aiken. Um, or you can drop a comment below and I will show you how to do that. But the last thing that I wanted to show you today is the downloading ability. And so you can download anything that you put on here. Um, if you have a video, you can download it as an MP4. But other than that, they have all different kinds of options. You can make PDF print material straight from Canva. You can make uh, the animated GIFs. Um, you can do JPEG, you can do ping, you can do a lower quality PDF. Um, and so there's tons of different options that you can export and they'll export straight to your computer. Um, you can also, there's tons of other options on here that I haven't specifically used, um, but Canva even offers, um, whoops, Canva even offers its own um, printing behind it. And so you can come down here and say, you wanted to print this design as a card. Uh, it'll say print your card as an invitation. It'll say, oh, hey, your invitation, this isn't the right um, stuff. Uh, this isn't the right uh, format for the card. It'll ask you to resize it. And then you can come in, make all of your changes, all of your edits, and you can buy and purchase prints straight from Canva as well which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna say they're the cheapest way, um, but as far as simplicity purposes, I mean, it's really, really hard to beat it. And it'll tell you the copies right off the bat for what you can do. 150 copies, 144 bucks, free shipping. Um, and so, yeah, it's, pretty straightforward. You can select which page you want to print and all that. Um, you can include envelopes in your order if you're doing postcards or um, whatever. And so you can do literally streamline everything from this one program, which is awesome. And that's why we wanted to um, reference Canva specifically because there's so much you can do from this. And so, like I said, this is just an introduction and I'm gonna spend the next couple um, videos kind of going through specifics on how you can use it to do different things in your ministry. But for the, now, that's all I have. Um, as I said, my name is Brent Aiken, and um, I'd love to connect with y'all and however I can. Um, and my Facebook will be on the screen below, facebook.com slash Aiken. Feel free to reach out and um, message me, and I'll answer any questions that you may have. Thanks. Bye.